Hey everyone, so this is my part three about this uh, home office slash entertainment center that I have here with this IKEA desk made out of uh, IKEA kitchen parts. So if you haven't seen those two other videos, make sure you check those out. The first one talks about the desk itself and the second one will talk about the different components that I'm using in this particular setup. So in this video, I will cover the leap motion, some of the speech recognition in Windows and iOS. Also a demo of remote control in VNC with iOS and the MacBook Air. And finally some AirPlay audio for music and the video, AirPlay mirroring. I'm gonna show you guys some of that. So as I pointed out earlier, we have the Leap motion connected to the HP Stream Mini in blue down there. So let me start off with that. And as you can see, there are my five fingers, right? And I will just use my index. So that I use here to navigate in Windows 8.1. The tiles make it really useful for the leap motion. It's a very, I find it a, a very useful tool with this kind of setup with a big uh, monitor like this. So I can control pretty much anything. I'm gonna switch back and forth, show you some apps, weather app. Once again, it's just my finger needs to be in this field on top of the leap motion itself. So there's the weather app. I'm gonna go back to start. Bear with me as I try to use in video at the same time. CNN. All right, so I can swipe left and right, just like a, using a tablet, but 40 inches here. If I want to close the weather app, I'll just drag it down, and then it goes back to the desktop. So as you can see, it's a uh, pretty useful, smooth. Can do it while standing up. I don't always have to be sitting down. So let me use this keyboard here, the Solar Logitech keyboard. I'm gonna make sure it's running Windows, and I'm gonna launch the speech recognition. All right, there it is. Let's see if it works. Start listening. So then I can use it a little further away. Close window. Start. Weather. Page down. Page up. Close window. Start. CNN. Page down. Close window. Switch to desktop. Open Google Chrome. See that it misheard. Close window. Open Google Chrome. Open Google Chrome. Stop listening. Stop listening. All right, so I needed to close that. Let me shut it down here with the leap motion so that it's not in the middle of the screen there. All right, so works pretty well if you make sure to speak loudly and you know what commands to use. But the cool thing is that I also have it set with, if you open Google Chrome and you set the homepage to Google, then you can use this feature as well. Okay, Google. Who's playing in the NBA Finals this year? All right, so it gave me some results. I was hoping it would speak to me, but... Okay, Google. What's the weather like? It's 84 degrees and mostly cloudy in Austin. Perfect. So you can also use Okay, Google if you know what you're doing. 
and there it hurt me so it's going to search for what you do all right so let me go ahead and shut this down now i showed you leap motion and the windows speech recognition let me put on the windows media center here for a second up and running now for windows media center most of the time i'm going to use the keyboard down here right leap motion does not work in there because the cursor, there is no cursor, so it's kind of hard to see where your finger's at, but it works perfectly fine using this keyboard since we're down here. And just to show you that it's working, have Sports Center coming up. There we go. Senator, last year, the shotgun, they had the fourth most stats, did okay, Denver. So, so why is. That and works. Uh, 14, I can use a keyboard down there to control it. I can also VNC. Is it about compiling stats or is it about winning championships? And while you can't see the image on the screen, let me turn it down here. I can use a keyboard here. And I'm going to use that to shut down Windows Media Center. And there we go. So. Not only can we use the leap motion and speech recognition, this keyboard works with both of these computers. And I can always VNC from the MacBook Air if I want to use that. iOS device, same thing. There it is connected to the MacBook Air right here. So if I close VNC here, it'll reflect right there. So I'll disconnect from this and I can connect to pretty much any computer I want. There's Windows. Watch the uh, tiles right there. So that works like that as well. We need to have VNC from any iOS device. Speech recognition, leap motion. We also have, hey Siri. Start a 10 minute countdown. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. Hey Siri. What can I help you with? Open Safari. Hey Siri. Open Google Chrome. So, as you can see, that works very well. Now, last but not least, um, I wanted to show one more thing here. Let me switch this here to the desktop. All right. Now, as far as iOS devices and controlling the system here, I'll give an example using the iPad. So on the iPad, we can both do VNC and we can use the mouse application here that I like. So now that allows me to use a trackpad to control the mouse up there. All right, so point of that is I can do a remote control here. Right, so with an iOS device, you can do that as well. Control it remotely. Um, very important to have a keyboard, I'm sorry, a mouse connected to uh, your Windows 8.1 machine if you want to control it remotely with an iOS device. Otherwise, that cursor there will not show up, which will make it very hard to uh, control with this kind of application. So that is very useful as well if you are not sitting down at your desk if you're not close to it or you're not using voice we can use the uh, mouse application right there mouse light so check that out if you uh, are interested in that and then lastly using itunes match uh, we have uh, music in our system here right so i'm going to use the leap motion here and turn iTunes on or bring it up. So then obviously I can play music with the keyboard. 
plenty. Right? We could VNC into it. We can also use this remote app. That's usually what I use on the iOS devices. So there you go. Same deal here. Right? So, key thing here also is that we're running Air Server, which is that black app right there, the black rectangle and the triangle. That will allow us to send music from any iOS device or Apple computer via AirPlay. Right? You can see the HP come up as a destination for AirPlay. Like that or in the music app. So play something here. And see there it is, recognizing that I'm playing that particular song from my iPad. So that's pretty useful. Let me turn it up a little bit here. So I'm gonna stop that here for a second. It takes a second to uh, react, but I can send the sound to the HP Stream Mini from this device, that device, that device, any device I want. We can play the music through that computer, which will use the receiver and the speakers there. So not only can I use what I have on the HP Stream Mini via iTunes Match, but any other device. Same thing goes for the video mirroring, right? So just like I could with an Apple TV, because I have that application up there, I'm going to go ahead and extend my desktop. So we'll extend the desktop right up here. I'm going to use the HP 8, as I call the HP Stream Mini. So right there it has Windows for now, but I'll turn this on. And as you can see, we have an extended desktop where I can use both spaces here for my uh, iMac activity. So for example, I'll open some apps here and then we'll just move them around. Let's see, I'll put this one at the top. Let's see, I'll remove Safari here. Right up there. And there you have it, right? So it's an extended desktop in the Mac for OS X. We can also mirror it if we wanted to. Let me see that. Bear with me on the trying to do both things at the same time. So there it shows you the same thing above as it does below. You can see the color difference. Now that'll also work with your iOS devices. So let me turn this off. And we'll turn it off. And it goes back to Windows. I could also do the same thing with that machine or any iOS device as well. So let's see, I'll show you that to end here. For AirPlay mirroring as well, for whatever it is that you want to uh, put up on the big screen. So there you go. That's all possible with Air Server. Let me go ahead and turn it off here before we finish. Turn it off. It should go back to normal. Yes, there we go. So there you go. Just wanted to show you something I had a little fun putting together with uh, several different gadgets and um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. I know it went a little long. Thank you for watching and uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Give me some feedback. How would you change this? How would you make it better? Uh, I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts. Thank you so much and uh, thanks for watching again. Have a nice day.